Today I discuss about a rather controversial topic, the right time to get pregnant. I often wonder sitting in my outpatient clinic as to how many women would actually listen to me if I tell them that the right time to get pregnant is in your 20s. Well, this is true because in your 20s, you have the best number of eggs and the best quality eggs. However, we live in an urban city where most young girls are just starting off their careers in their 20s. They're raring to go and the last thing they want is a pregnancy. So what can you do to make sure that you're healthy and have an uneventful pregnancy if you want to delay your pregnancy to your 30s? The most important thing would be to stay healthy and maintain an ideal weight. What is an ideal weight? A BMI of anywhere between 19 to 24 is considered ideal. So all young girls with a BMI of more than 24 should make sure that they consult a dietitian and get on an exercise plan to make sure that their BMI is less than 24 prior to planning a pregnancy. Similarly, all girls with a BMI of less than 19 must make sure that they improve their nutrition and improve their weight prior to planning a pregnancy. Why is this important? We do know that women who are overweight tend to have more complicated pregnancies. We see a higher number of gestational diabetes, hypertension, big babies that could lead to an increased number of cesarean sections in women who are overweight. Similarly, women who are underweight tend to have smaller babies and have an increased risk of preterm births. So it's important that you get into pregnancy with an ideal weight. When you're planning a pregnancy in your 30s, it's important that you check for certain medical conditions and get them sorted out prior to getting pregnant. So what are these conditions? It's vital that you check your sugars, and if your sugars are high, make sure that you consult with your endocrinologist and get them to normal prior to planning a pregnancy. Check your thyroid levels and make sure that your thyroid levels are normal prior to pregnancy. This is extremely important because women with thyroid disorders often have pregnancy complications like preeclampsia or high blood pressure, preterm deliveries, abruption placenta, intrauterine growth restrictions, and most importantly, women with hypothyroidism tend to give birth to mentally subnormal babies if their thyroid is not well controlled prior to pregnancy. Other than thyroid disorders and sugars, it's also vital that you check your vitamin D levels and start a pregnancy when your vitamin D levels are within normal limits. If you're in your 30s and you do not plan to get pregnant in the near future, check your AMH levels. What is AMH? AMH is nothing but anti-Mullerian hormone, which is an indicator of your ovarian age or the number of follicles that you have in your ovary. If your AMH levels are low, you can discuss with your gynecologist about egg freezing if you do not have any plans of pregnancy in the near future. It is vital that you know about the latest technologies and you use it to the fullest to avoid unnecessary complications in the future. To summarize it all, so what is the right time to get pregnant? The right time is in your 20s or in your early 30s, prior to the age of 35, because you are in the best of health, you have the best number of eggs and the best quality eggs during this age group. However, if you want to delay your pregnancy beyond the age of 35, it's important that you stay healthy, correct your medical disorders and enter pregnancy in a healthy state to avoid complications during pregnancy.